Hey, what's going on, fam? Good morning, family. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Peggy. I am the Don. And welcome to another video. Hey, if you haven't already, please hit that uh, subscribe button. We haven't said that in a while. Hit that thumbs up button as well. We really do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So it's been a little while, fam. Uh, we have been uh, doing a few things here in um, Houston, Texas. Houston is a mighty, mighty, extremely big place. I mean... Uh, fun fact, it's like bigger than Connecticut. It's like the number four most populated city in the country and stuff. So there's so much stuff going on, a whole lot of things to do. And uh, so we try to get out every once in a while. Um, we got invited out to uh, Reggae Fest 2023. Uh, it's like a little Jamaican cultural festival downtown. Now, some of y'all may know I try to avoid going downtown as much as possible because of the whole the traffic thing or whatever else it is in the parking. The boys on the cheap side, and y'all know that already. But I do get out. We do get out. And so we went down there and uh, we had a pretty good time. It was we got there before the really big crowds got there. So what we're about to show you is like the uh, earlier parts of it. We went down there with some friends you may recognize in the video and stuff. It was fun. I think we went on the very last day, so we missed all the crowds and stuff like that because I think it started like on a Friday. Yeah. And we went on a Sunday afternoon-ish kind of time frame. Yeah. And so um, it's it's really hard to enjoy yourself with the heat pounding. <laughs> like, I know if we talk about this heat so much, but... It is just indescribable heat at yeah. some times. Uh, walking a block, it's like somebody has poured a bucket of water over your yeah. head. That's how hot it gets. But we made the best of the time that we had. We were in good company. We had a great time. The music was great. Yeah. Uh, everything. It was, it was good it was food nice. there. A lot the of new things to try. Good. Clothes, cultural things and stuff like that. So we had a good time walking around and everything. Mm -hmm. And we were close to some of the really, really big buildings in downtown Houston. So mm -hmm. had a chance to get a little close-up shot of that too. So mm -hmm. so right here we're going to go ahead and show y'all a little bit of what it was like at uh, Reggae Fest 2023. My color though right here. Well it's a little heavy. What if it got a price tag on it? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, that's the first thing I look for. <laughs> that was Donald, Donald released his inhibitions. There you go. <laughs> that was 
being me and D were out there just dancing and stuff. I think D saw what, what was going on because Pega tried to sneak that video in on me. But your boy, I don't get embarrassed. I don't care. They don't know me. So yeah. had a good time. But like, you know, because it was so early and it was so hot, it was not that many people there. So hey, the crowd wasn't there. So we just had a good time to ourselves. So eventually Donald and I, well, we're preparing to make a video about six month, our six month mark of being here in Houston. Yeah. We're going to talk about, just in case anybody's interested, right? Yeah. Uh, what we like, we don't like the area, how the move went and stuff like that. Like we want to give you a full detail on the move to Houston. How did it go? How things Go, how are things going and how do we feel about being here in Houston? Yeah. So we're going to make a separate video about that coming soon because I think our six month is coming up in September. And yep, end of September. End of September. So we'll, we'll be talking about that a little bit. It's almost September already. I know. That. Well, in a couple of days it'll be September. That is wild <laughs> to me. It, it feels like it's been 105 degrees every day since uh, May. But anyway, uh, we want to just give you guys a very brief description, or not description, but just give you a brief update on what's going on with our RV. Yeah. And basically nothing. Yeah. That's, it's going to be a very, very <laughs> short update, fam. A short update, but yes. we just, because a lot of you are, are, you know, you're invested. Yes. And so we want to just keep you updated, but... Uh, the last we heard was they were waiting on parts to come in. Mm -hmm. They have not actually started working on the RV yeah. because they have to take that slide off the side. And if, if you remember the RV, the whole right side is a slide yeah. except for the front door. And so they just didn't want to go back and forth with yeah. everything. They just want to get it all done at one time. We got a call from the insurance company about three weeks ago about three weeks ago and he was like all your approvals are in everything yeah. on your end and our end is done now we're just waiting on the rv uh manufacturer or whoever else to yeah. get the part in that they need and then uh we should be ready to go now. I don't know how long it takes a part to come in. I don't know if they <laughs> ordered it from Dusseldorf or China or wherever the part That's is. A good one, but, Dusseldorf. <laughs> I don't know where they needed to order this part from, but it just seems to me that it's on the long end. <laughs> and I'm just like, we're at their mercy right now. There's really nothing we could do. Starting Monday, we're going to start making some more phone calls and we're going to have to start going over some people because if you look at it, the whole camping season is, I mean, even though it's been hot and yeah. a lot of people haven't been camping because of this extreme heat, mm -hmm. but, um, we should, we should be out there in the heat complaining about it too. We yeah. should be out in these RV streets. Yeah. There are places that we had pinpointed that we wanted to go to over the summer. Yep. Couldn't get to do it because we don't have an RV. We had a semi-plan to go to like El Paso to see, yeah, your, this, see your friend in El, yeah. and our, at Fort Bliss and everything. A good friend of mine uh, was in El Paso this week. Now, we've been planning the El Paso yeah. trip for a couple of months now. And I'm like, yeah, come at this time because I'm sure. Like we They told us in August. They said August 15th at the latest. When <laughs> at we the latest. Up, when we dropped it out, they said yeah. August 15th at the latest. We should have our RV back. So we felt comfortable saying, hey, if you're in El Paso around the 23rd to the 28th or somewhere in that time frame, yeah. just let us know. We'll be out there. And we'll be there. And we had the reservation made. We had several reservations. Yes. I'm like, who is that calling? Oh, this is so-and-so. You had a reservation. <laughs> but that was our fault, though, because we, we should have waited. But, I mean, if you know anything about RV, and it's good to have your plans, you know, out, six months out or more so that you won't yeah. run into any trouble or anything. But anyway, uh, it is just a very frustrating process. Yeah. And at some point, I'm like, Either give me the RV back or give me a new one. Just hold like, on. Give, just keep yeah, you, you hold on to that one and don't give me my fifth <laughs> wheel. Because y'all playing too much. Like, mm -hmm. it should not take three, four, five, six months to fix an RV. I got in my head I was going to drive out there and just, like, talk to them. And then I started thinking, what difference would that make? If I go there and say, okay, where's my RV? They just say it's right there. 
What different? What, how would it be different for me talking to him on the phone and stuff? So well, they could see the stern. Oh yeah. Would you know? <laughs> that, would that move me up the, the food chain a little bit? Would that? that the they'll bar they'll probably something? push you back so I might. So I, I, I thought better of it. Fam. Yeah, we thought about going out there because it's like an hour away, mm -hmm. and I was just like, you know what? We we should just go make a trip because <laughs> I want. Did they lose the RV? What what happened? Like I don't know, but. This is what you have to deal with with these RVs. Like I understand people say that they don't make them like they used to. No. And you have to do your research, research, research when you're getting an RV because I know people who have had RVs and they don't have any other troubles that we're having. Yeah. <laughs> so we are at their mercy pretty much. Pretty there's, much. Nothing, there's nothing we could say or do to speed up the process. Exactly. Because before they could say, well, we're waiting on all your approvals. We're waiting on your insurance company to do this. Okay. okay, so then we got on the phone because they said the insurance company wasn't calling them back. Yeah. So we get on the phone. We got to an answer immediately. They went out immediately and did everything they needed to do. So I'm like, did you really make that phone call? Exactly. But then after we got that done and the insurance company is asking us, hey, what's going on? Yeah. And we're like... Uh, you, you don't know because <laughs> why are you calling know. us? Why, why are you How we know? Us? Yeah, so that's the update on the RV. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, sooner than later, we yeah. can get us a trip in. I am highly confident that we should be able to get a trip in before camping with friends. I am highly confident because, yeah. like I said, I will start heading there and trying to be a nuisance and stuff. Not trying yeah. to be a nuisance, but yeah. trying to make, a, make sure I stay on, on the front of their mind and stuff. We're going to sit in front of the uh, company with some poster board signs. Where's our <laughs> RV every day until we get it? <laughs> Work on it now. Work on it now. Get it to us now. <laughs> wow. That's exactly what we, Yeah, but we'll, we'll have it back. We'll have it back time to do a little test run before for camping with friends. And so yeah. the rush ain't so big right now because you know we got a cruise coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, what next Saturday next weekend? Not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. Spend a nice weekend relaxing, getting away from everything. We'll be sharing it with you guys. So y'all already know about that. Y'all know we loving it, cruising with friends. So it's gonna be a really really good time. So when we come back, we'll jump back on the whole making sure our RV gets done thing. So that's gonna be good. So now we're gonna talk about the reason that we made the title what we made it. Mm -hmm. Because when you do YouTube, you have uh, different companies that you could link to your account, to yeah. your YouTube page. So we have something with Amazon called Amazon Associates. Yeah. So we have an Amazon Associate link, yeah. right? And we used to make a ton of money from our Amazon Associates yeah. link. But lately, we're not featuring a lot of things, so... We'll get a check here and there, right? Mm -hmm. And a couple people were asking us stuff, and they was telling us they bought some of the things that we put in our video. And I'm like, you know what? We haven't well, received any money from yeah. our associate links in like 60 days. What is up with that? Because you don't think about it, right? Because we don't have it linked to our regular bank account. We have it linked to a different account. Exactly. And th this is why. So uh, I'm going to let Donald tell you about it because yeah. I didn't notice it, but he picked up on it. And we did lose quite a bit of yeah. money from that link because um, you guys have been shopping on that link. So yeah. I'm going to let Donald tell you what he discovered because I was asking him, I'm like, where's our money from? <laughs> Amazon. Yeah. So I went on the Amazon Associates uh, web page and stuff, and I was checking on that, making sure we had our link still there, make sure our account information was still there and everything. And then I saw that there's a, a, an added user. I clicked on the uh, profile section of it, and there was an added user on there. It was called, like, Omani, Peggy, and Don. Who in the world is Omani, Peggy, and Don? Mm -hmm. And so I clicked on that, and this person had been able to redirect and had been able to get himself uh, identified as an authorized member, redirect until I count to an account in Istanbul. So our money had been getting sent to a bank account in Istanbul. Now Amazon should know we're not in Istanbul. We wouldn't start an account in Istanbul. So I had to go in. It's been almost 90 days. So he is, that person had received our last three Amazon Associate Links checks. Yes. So... 
They said, you know, I, I contacted Amazon about it. They said, okay, are you certain this person's not an authorized user? I had to go through the whole affidavit type process and then they removed that person and that person's account. Couldn't tell me who the person is, why he was authorized, how he got in, anything like that. So that that's kind of a scary thing. You know, that's something about being on uh, these platforms and stuff. You're kind of out there and people know your names and stuff like that. And maybe they can use some information. And it's just a, a scary thing. You have, to be, you have to be cautious. You have to be aware of what you're doing and mm -hmm. what you're putting out there and stuff. So I just got to be more diligent and paying attention to what is out there, what, what's linked to our account, what's linked to our page. And I will be more diligent. People have been, they've been a little attempts at getting into our account many many times that we've been able to block and stuff like that and you guys know if somebody contacts y'all saying that us and telling you that you won a prize and you didn't see us announce it on the video that's not correct that's that's not us so y'all already know that kind of thing people have used our picture in their own little profile thing but they do it to everybody but we're such a small channel it makes you wonder exactly how much effort they put into it and how many people they're doing this to so but that's what's going on with that it's kind of a it's more, it's more of an angry thing, but it's also a frustrating thing to see that people are willing to just, you know what, you're doing this, I'm going to take that because I yeah. have. You, you kind of feel violated yeah. because I'm like, in order for me, what bothers me is in order for me to change my banking information. I got to tell them the last four of my social, where the last three addresses you live, who was your firstborn, what was your grandmother's <laughs> maiden name? You know, I got to answer all these questions. You got to send in your picture with the date and all yeah. this. Stuff. Like, they treat you like a criminal if you want to change your information. My problem is how? Yeah. How did this person online get in to change our information? Yeah. How, how did they get in? I, I would be really upset if we had been a huge channel and yeah. it would have been thousands of dollars. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But it was enough. It, it, it was enough to hurt you. Nobody contacted us. Donald gets up every morning and he checks, you know, oh. for business purposes. You know, like he see what offers are out there and yeah. stuff like that. So he gets up early in the morning. He checks his email. Nobody sent an email back because normally, you know, when you go online and you change your name, your anything, mm -hmm. it'll send you an email and say, OK, you've changed this. Or are you the one that's attempting to do this? Yeah. Like we didn't get anything back from our phone. And I know sometimes it'll tell you, OK, uh, where do you want us to contact you? Do you want us to contact your phone or do you want us to contact your email address? So they had to clone everything about. Gone with the Windows. Yeah. They've had to clone like our email addresses, our phone numbers, our all of that. And I'm like, we need to be more vigilant. Yeah. And Talking to us, but warning you, we need to be more vigilant because there are some things that we probably could have done better. Mm -hmm. You know, like we need to, you know, because sometimes they tell you when somebody takes your Facebook password, I mean, take over your Facebook yeah. account. Go in and change your passwords. Make sure you're not using the same passwords as you did before. Try to make the passwords as complicated as possible. And the passwords that we use, I'm like, you, you can't gotta guess be a this. genius. You can't guess this stuff. Like, but, but they have things out there, and so we were a victim of it. Yeah. And uh, I don't think there's going to be any recuperation on our part. No, they're not going to give us the money back or anything. Yeah. All they will make sure going forward, they won't be. Yeah. I think what they were able to do is add an account. They did not change our account or our password. Once they had the password, they was able to add another email address and yeah. add another account to our account. But to me, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I, I totally understand it. But to me, to add somebody, you have to have a lot of personal information, exactly. I would think. Yep. But... Uh, I don't know how they were able to do it, but hey, it's nothing new under the sun. These people out here are hacking and they're good at it. All the way in Istanbul. I don't know how Istanbul. you found that. How did you find that out? Well, it showed it had a phone number with the Istanbul uh, country code in the phone number. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, he might just use an Istanbul phone number. He could be in Madagascar for all we know. Who knows how they try to... Um, uh, right here in Texas. <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? So... Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so uh, 
it, it's just troubling. Yeah. It happened to us. It could happen to anybody. So when I say, I, I feel like we were scammed slash robbed slash, <laughs> I feel violated yeah. almost. You know what I'm saying? And it's just really sad that people are doing this. They spend time, they spend, it's like a job to them. They spend time working to take other people's money when they could just be working. And I'm just thanking God that it wasn't linked to one of our other accounts. Exactly. Because that could have been bad. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to suggest that when you have these affiliate links and you have these online, because this is like working online. Yeah. I don't. We don't have anything linked to our major accounts, so it doesn't really. It hurts, but it don't hurt. Her. Yeah. It you won't know what be. It won't be like devastating. But you take a dime from me, I'm, I'm hurt. Yeah. I'm hurt by it because you feel so violated, and you're like, oh my god, you know. Yeah, I'm telling you. Those little bits add up and stuff. You know, I was I told I told a story about the lady who stole three cents from everybody who had a bank account at her bank. She did that for four years and nobody cared. She was taking out three cents a month from every account. She ended up with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. So <laughs> be vigilant. People are out there doing stuff. Anyway. Hey family. So at this time we're gonna recognize one of our amazing subscribers. Her name is Jennifer Stewart, and she wanted to bless Donald and I with um, with one of her wonderful crafts that she does. Y'all know I'm a girl that loves crafts, right? And so she sent us this really nice, I had to peek inside. I didn't want to just <laughs> open it, you know, um, on camera. But she sent us a really nice uh I want to say it's a care package for it DJ. Like care package. It's, it's a care package for DJ, but then it's see, Donald didn't get nothing out of this one because <laughs> he, thank you, Jennifer. But anyway, um, she says it was packed with love by Jennifer. So she sent us instructions on how to take out this beautiful craft. She made us a wreath family, mm -hmm. and it is absolutely beautiful and I will definitely be putting this up somewhere in the house when I do my fall decor video. Okay? She's definitely a big uh, supporter of DJ because everything in here is doggy themed I think or pet themed or right, stuff. Yeah. So she sent DJ this. See, uh -oh. these driving crazy. <laughs> he, sent, he over here next to me right now and he losing it. But anyway, <laughs> this is so cute. It's a pet toy. So he is going to love Jennifer. He is going to Ooh. love that. Let's see if it lasts a week. He is going to be and then chewing this up. A, little, a cute little. Oh, look at that fall themed fall doggy is toy. Here. Look at that. Look at y'all. He going. He going. He going. <laughs> oh, she got him some pumpkin and apple flavored doggy treats. Now he loves pumpkin and apple. And she got him some. Just add water. This is a uh, whole grain chicken. And she got him some beef wow. and pumpkin and banana flavored treats. So thank you, Jennifer. Donald and I really, really appreciate it when you guys love on DJ the way you do because it makes us feel happy that you guys are uh, still including him as part of the family. Yeah. Okay, and then she's given us, what is it? I think this is lip gloss, lip balm. Mm -hmm. It's called Keeping It Real Craft. I think that's the name oh. of her. Um, Keeping It Real Craft. Oh, lavender. I love the smell Peggy of lavender. Peggy loves lavender. Oh, my God. As soon as she saw that, she had to open it up. Oh, my God. Jennifer. <laughs> see, Jennifer, you already know. Jennifer already knows Peggy. Ooh. What's better than one? Two. <laughs> All the things. All the things. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm going to be using this lavender baby because I love, love, love lavender. That is that is my favorite That's, scent. Yes. All right. So in here, she has it perfectly uh, sealed up and everything, boxed to perfection so it won't get destroyed in the move. And so she told us to look for the little, okay, here they are. They're red. They're bright red. 
and um, oh okay so the red bands tie the reed down, down to, to the, the bottom box. of the box yeah and that okay. way it won't move okay so we got one right here and this one on the other side let's okay. twist it here okay Oh, beware of the wiggle butts. Beware of the wiggle butts. <laughs> I am hanging this up in my man cave. That is hilarious. That is because so cute. DJ gets a case of the wiggle butts when he's when he, when he anxious and excited to do something. He gets a case of the wiggle butts. Oh, wait. It's more. That is wild. I'm hanging this up in my room. The Wendy's Peggy, Don, and D. Boy, somebody just went all so out, amazing. Boy. Thank you for blessing us and sharing your life, a piece of it anyway, with us because you don't have to. Rock and Jennifer. This is so sweet. This... Oh, look at that. A letter, y'all. How was that time you get a letter? Right. We're not gonna read this whole thing to y'all, but we're gonna read this together. Uh yeah. That... This That's, is so this is nice, boy. I had no idea it was so jam packed. But let's get into this. Week. See, I peeked into it first, so I kind of knew what was going on. Pay wasn't supposed to be peeking, but she peeked. She peeked. But let's get into this read. <laughs> let's get into this read. Because Jan did her thing, baby. Look at this. This is amazing. OMG. Look at that. Y'all think it's a game? Oh my God! I you see, love. It's like, you see, it's like a polished metallic interior side. I love everything about that. Look at DJ's picture. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, you have made my day. This Thank is you so, so nice. Much. I am definitely. You're going to see that in some videos because we're going to hang that up. We really appreciate you taking your time out to bless us, and we just thank you for it. You got, we have some of the best. <laughs> I got a huge smile on my face right now. Cause that is beautiful. Even when we move, we have, I'm talking about like putting this on the band cave door or the DJ area door and stuff. We're going to have this up for a long, long time to come. This is that super is, nice. Thank you, thank you, nice. thank you very much. Thank you again, Jennifer. So that's about it, fam. We, like, uh, thank you very much again, Jennifer, for the wonderful thing. Y'all can hear DJ in the background. I'm ready to take DJ on the outside. He was just a little too excited for this video. And I'm going to show y'all a little bit of a, a minute with DJ, especially with him playing with his new toy and stuff. And so that ends today's video. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel and everything. And we just want to remind you guys, God, to do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well, fam. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Give me that, DJ. Give me that. DJ, give me that. <laughs> He's getting, look at the tail. Look at that tail. Somebody is super happy. Look at that tail. The universe has known it all